Hey everybody, I'm Jack Reed with Future Pastimes, and I'm a game designer, and I like to tinker around with other games. And one game that uh, I've always enjoyed is Apples to Apples, and when I first played it, uh, there was a sheet of blank Apples cards uh, in the box, and that got me thinking, and I started making my own Apples to Apples cards. And at this point, my, uh, my custom set of Apples to Apples has grown quite large. Um, I started making these in 2003, so I've had this set for a long time, and it's grown over time. It predates Cards Against Humanity by a pretty good margin, so there are some risque and cards of adult nature and things that would definitely fit right in with what's in Cards Against Humanity. But I also played around with uh, the game mechanisms in Apples to Apples and added a few things that just kind of livened it up for me. So I wanted to share some of that in there. Um, the the cards that I, that I made, um, they range from things that are relatively normal and innocuous to things that are just downright silly and then slightly more risque. So for instance, this one is just a, uh, one of the red cards is dying alone and in pain. So I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit weird. And it says possibilities include sniper victim, fell off a cliff, autoerotic asphyxia, mishap. So, you know, fun, fun for the whole family. Uh, this is just J-horror, um, Japanese horror movies like Ringu, Juan, and Batura Rao. I can't even pronounce that one. Uh, Triskaidekaphobia, uh, the abnormal fear of the number 13. Uh, Farting from laughing hard. And the definition is ha 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 fart. Um, an upper decker. So now we're getting into a little more risque. The act of defecating into the upper tank of a domestic toilet. Um, who hasn't been there? Uh, a pants boner. That is a crease or wrinkle in one's pants that make it look like he or she has an erection. Uh, uh, vaginex. That is a vagina that acts as a portal to another dimension. Um... Who knew? Uh, and a piss window, the ability to poop in the amount of time it would normally take you to piss so as not to alert guests or hosts as to what you're truly doing. Um, don't ask me where I come up with these things. It's just whatever pops into my head. Um, and of course, it's not limited to the, the red card. So things that I made, uh, this one is uh, stupid. So stupid that it doesn't even deserve proper spelling. Um, and then this one's pretty on the nose, but just shitty. So Terrible, crappy, cruddy, doo doo -y. Um, But like I said, I started to mess around with some of the other elements in the game. Um, again, and it started relatively uh, simple. So this one was just blank. Uh, judge picks any word. Thought that might be funny. Um, and then I started to uh, play around with a few other concepts after having played the game so many times. So this one, here we have, the, the word is desperate. Uh, urgently reckless, intolerable, having no hope. Um, but it's a special card here, and the winner also gets to draw a new hand. One of the common complaints that uh, people have was like, oh, I've got these same crappy cards. I've had the whole game. I've never had a chance to play them. So I added a few of these to the deck as a way to kind of reward people and see more of the custom cards that I had in there. Um, another one that I'd come up with is uh, something called uh, the worm card. So if you drew this one, the, the word is abnormal, and the definition is not normal. Um, but it says, add a worm card to the pile. And that is where you're going to draw a red card off the top of the deck, and that's going to get shuffled in with the other red cards. And if the judge ends up picking the worm card, then nobody scores a point that round. Um, and yeah, occasionally a game like Apples to Apples, uh, you could just pick a card from your hand at random and still potentially win the round. Um, another concept that I had come up with were, uh, these. So this is, these are called, um, Apple Turnovers. It's a green card, uh, and it says, uh, disturbing and, and it tells you to turn over another green card. So you might have, uh, something like, uh, disturbing and annoying. So <laughs> you would have two and whoever won that round would get uh, two green cards. Uh, another one, like Surreal and whatever the next card that you turned over. And if you turned over another Apple turnover, it would be a, a kind of a triple description. What is something that is surreal and disturbing and annoying? And so you're searching through your red cards to find uh, what those might be. 
Uh, another type of card that I had added were what I call most or least. So they look like this. And again, you have a, you have a word here. The, the, it's bomb diggity, which means some awesomeness. The shit. Cooler than cool. Uh, but what happens is you get the word, so everyone is trying to do bomb diggity, and they're going to play their red cards. But once all the red cards are played, but before the judge looks at them, they're going to decide if they're going to pick the most bomb diggity or the least bomb diggity. Um, and uh, that makes for some uh, pretty hilarious and silly rounds as well. Um, this one is... Uh, one where the judge is going to pick two. So I had a couple of these. See, they have the two little red apples there. Judge picks two red cards. So the Oscar goes to blank for the film blank. And so card one is the winner and card two may draw a new hand. So uh, that might be kind of fun. Uh, there's a special card. This one is just the, the least like. And the way it works is the judge plays a red card from their hand and the other players must play something the least like it. And the judge chooses the winner. So that was kind of a funny way to do here's one that i just pulled away it's just unintentionally arousing gets you hot but why I, I just thought that was funny put that in there uh another special card is called red apple survivor uh so players all play their lamest card the judge picks two and everyone votes for the lamest one with the judge breaking a tie so just a silly way to change up the round this was also in that vein so it's kind of faded it's called shot in the dark uh, players put out any red card they want, and then the judge turns over another green. So you've played your card, and then the judge is going to turn over another green card. Um, the judge picks the best red card for the new green card, and the winner gets both of the green cards. Um, so that was interesting. Um, and then there's more. So there's more silly stuff that I've added to the game. Um, I added a bunch of yellow apple cards. So they show up in the green apple mix. Uh, but they're kind of like little events. So this one is called Bobbing for Apples, and it's a yellow card. And what happens is the judge chooses one card to eliminate from the ones that the players have played, then passes the rest clockwise, and each player does likewise. And then the last card is going to be the one that wins the round. So it, it's just a different way to do the round when you draw that. This one's called Apple Seeds. Uh, the player players with the fewest green cards may draw a new hand if they did not win the round. So again, just a refresh. This one's called Apple Turnover. Uh, flip over two green cards. After all red cards are played, the judge des decides which green card to use. So again, just a silly different thing. Then I added a bunch of oranges. And, you know, the idea is that um, you can't compare apples to oranges. And that is the concept here. So when you flip over an orange, the object is for people to play something that is utterly incomparable to whatever it is. So here you've got Dancing with the Stars. So, uh, and the definition, a show on ABC that follows singers, actors, and athletes as they work with their professional dance partners to learn different genres of dance. Um, so you play that, and then everyone's supposed to play something that you can't compare. You couldn't compare, I don't know, it's a little esoteric, but... Um, I just, I like messing with my friends because they usually have been drinking when they play this. Um, this one is called being tot caught. And tot caught means when your kids walk in on you having sex or masturbating. Um, again, it doesn't necessarily mean this is reflective of my life. I've never been tot caught um, that I know of. Um, but, you know, you play that, you know, what is something that is <laughs> incomparable to that? I don't know. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um Another thing that I added in were plums. So these are called plum lines. And the way these work is they have a little, little dialogue bubble and it's a little plum. Um, but what happens is they just give you a special ability. So you're going to draw these. These are red cards. Um, so this one, for instance, is called uh, Always a Bridesmaid. And so it says you can have this in your hand and it'll say play this card from your hand when your red card is the last one eliminated before the judge chooses a winner. And the way that we play the game is when the judge has all the red cards, they eliminate them one by one. They're like, all right, you know, what is the most, um, you know, bizarre? And like, well, this is pretty bizarre. And this is, and then it gets down to the last two. This is uh, super bizarre, but more bizarre than that is the winner. And so that's just the way that we play it. That's how we teach it. So with the always a bridesmaid, if you're the one that would have won, except there was one better, that you're the bridesmaid here. So uh, play this card from your hand. When your card is the last one eliminated before the judge chooses a winner, you may discard as many cards from your hand as you wish, replacing them all. Just another way to refresh. This one is called Not So Fast. 
uh, play this card from hand before the judge looks at all the round's red cards. All players must play a different red card. Previous cards are dealt back randomly to their players. So that's just a, a monkey wrench in there. There, This one's called, I call bullshit. Uh, so play this card from hand after the judge does not choose your card to win. If at least two others agree, you win the green card. And it's just a situation that has happened quite a bit. And then because it's my custom set, um, I live in a neighborhood that we uh, lovingly refer to as Brown Town. So I've added a bunch of brown apples. And these are just basically inside jokes uh, for our friends in the neighborhood. So you've got uh, this one's called Kitchen Pass, um, which is just a term that um, kind of came up uh, in, in our in our circle of friends. Uh, when the ladies are allowed out for the night, uh, expression used by douchebags that fail to realize it won't endear them to any of said ladies. So this happened when uh, they were having a little ladies night and uh, guys were yeah, hitting on them and saying, oh, I guess you guys got the kitchen pass for the night. And then they were told to go to hell. Uh, and then candy cuffs, uh, handcuffs made of candy serves four. Again, you'd have to come to one of our parties to really fully appreciate that. Uh, but that's my custom apples to apple set. Uh, it, like I said, uh, there's well, there's well over a thousand cards now in the, in the set, probably about fourteen hundred at this point. And it, every time we have a party and we play it, um, inevitably a day or two later, people are emailing me their ideas. They're like, oh, you really should add this to your set and add. And every once in a while, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to add another fifty cards to the set. It keeps things fresh and topical because there's stuff in here. Again, it, it dates back to the early 2000s in terms of what was going on and relevant uh, in pop culture uh, at the time and whatever, you know, slang terminology uh, we were all slinging around uh, at, at the at that time. So it does evolve over time. Um, and because of this, I, I don't own a copy of Cards Against Humanity. I don't feel like I need it. Um, I've got everything in there. And again, they're all concepts that I put on a card and I wrote the definitions for them. So it's just... Uh, fun exercise for me. I'll probably be doing another batch of these soon. Um, so if you've got some suggestions for, for cards and, and let me know what you think of the ideas of my wacky and unusual cards that are not part of a normal apples to apples game. Um, and again, because I haven't really played that much Cards Against Humanity, if there's some interesting and unique concepts that they have done with that, um, please share. I'd be happy to uh, emulate uh, I don't have any problem ripping off Cards Against Humanity, which itself is a ripoff of apples to apples, um, which is fine. You know, it's, it's it's all in the name of fun with your friends. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.